Hello everybody, Puzzle Piece is back with more Trick and Treat. We're here with Ashley, she's leading us out of the forest, hopefully. We asked her why she's a, you know, why she's a good witch. Not a bad witch or a sandwich. Sorry, that's a really bad dad joke. Um, so we have one more question for her. And how did you end up becoming a cat? A Ashley immediately blushes. She was so embarrassed that it was almost adorable. Almost. Well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance, so I decided to transfer my soul to it, because I can so do that, <laughs> she explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we now share the body uh, we have like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it is something to eat and a place to sleep. I try to provide her with all those needs, and in return, she lets me stay in her body. As she talks, she blushes. Blush. She is blushing sh shyly. Whoa, words. I see. I think it's a fair deal. I reply with a sincere smile. The truth is that I find it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat. That answers some questions. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. When she wants to, she can be very cute. Too bad that happens so rarely. <laughs> wow. Not saying more, Ashley continues t walking to the exit. This time I stay in silence. All that rema remains for me is to escape from this place. Alright. Ooh, it's the witching hour! Ooh! Please let something happen. <laughs> no, okay. Well, here we are! Ashley said a few minutes bef after we talked. She isn't lying. I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my desire to scream with joy at that moment. There must be two other humans close here. Your friends? Go with them and return home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Ashley said giving me a subtle farewell, but strangely she does not let go of my hand. She looks deeply in, deep in my eyes. Amazed, I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Kiss her! Can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a witch, but after helping me to escape, I think she deserves me to hear her request. End this legend? She then murmured with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she's asking, asking for something like this. I want you to help me to keep people away. The legend only attracts more people, as in your case. I need to kill it, replacing the supernatural danger with a human danger. A uh, human danger? So you want to scare them with ordinary dangers, as thieves or ferocious animals? On second thought, there is logic in what you asked. If you remove the element of magic, the only, they only leave the danger that exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and then looks into my eyes, blushing. Yes, exactly. She th she said, pleased. Okay, I'll do it. You can rely on me. I respond with determination. I wanted her to know how serious I was, that it was not a promise I would soon forget as I got out of the forest. Thank you. She then closes her eyes momentarily and inflates her chest with pride and her boobs. <laughs> You aren't as stupid as I thought. I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when they're in front of you. I complained angrily. This cat, I mean, this girl, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, Ashley cannot help but laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. She is very cute. My heart is very nervous beating, as if I was with a normal girl. She is a normal girl, and she's blushing. Suddenly she stares at me and gets so close to her face is less than an inch from mine. She's gonna kiss you! Again, she demonstrates not knowing what personal space is. But this time, I don't know whether to be angry or thankful. Having her so close, a beautiful girl, a beautiful girl makes me very nervous. This is the farewell. She suddenly said. She then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. Yay! 
Yay! Happiness! I was actually hoping this would be scary, but this is okay! Everything becomes white at that moment. Everything loses its color. Everything is gone. Everything. Everything. We get it. <laughs> we get it. 318. Oh. Moon. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I'm bewildered, as if I had been sleepwalking. Axel! Axel! Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it's not any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without a second thought of hesitation, with a bit of clumsiness uh, because of my confusion. Soon they find me and impatiently run towards me. Where were you? The worry was killing us. Oh god, who says that? <laughs> Steven said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before. Before answering, I rubbed my forehead. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before that, I interrupt him. <clears throat> Whew, excuse me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we're all safe. Yeah, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we're forgetting something? Alfred murmured as at the same mo time he lowers his sight something. Suddenly a blurry image appears in my mind. It was a white it was white and bright, and I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me. As if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. This has gone too far for a test of courage. I said with no intention of speed of spending one more minute in the forest. They both agreed with me. With nothing else to say, we can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write on that page to not go to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there, as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with that beast lurking around. Before knowing, before knowing it, my lips move. Why did I say that? I have no idea, but something inside inspired me to do so. To be honest, I have no memory of the beast I speak of. <laughs> the really bad cat. <laughs> All I can remember is that I had red eyes and white fur, nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I had to wait. To whom had I made that promise? I think it w I think about it for a moment in silence, but in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter. All I know is that I got out and I'll never come back here again. Aww. Nay, that's the end. Yay. Very nice. Okay, so, um, in the next video, I think we'll, because I know there's two girls, uh, so we'll definitely try and go for the other one the next time. So, um, do stay tuned for that. Uh, what time do we got here? Oh, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's start this one. Let's start again. So we're probably just going to skip a couple of times, uh, get to the part where it comes to the choices, because the choices might be the part where we can skip, 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 skip. We are in the forest, it's Halloween night, and I'm with my boys here, Steven and Alfred. <laughs> oh, it suddenly got foggy. Oh no, it's very cold here, and it smells horrible. Oh, the footsteps. <laughs> the horrible footsteps. <laughs> Summary. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Fast forward. Fast forward. More footsteps. Fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward. Oop, oh, and a cat. Meow. <laughs> and the bright light. And the back to our house to read about the article. <laughs> click, 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 click. Fast forward. We speak weirdly. Well, it looks like an apple. <laughs> a Mac in the background. Okay. Article. Reading. History and stuff. People missing. Guy named Matthew Graham is gone. Apparently it's very strange. Yeah. My finger is slipping. <laughs> There's four more people. All men. 
around the same time. Roger Bacon, Smith, Black, and worst of all, a tailor. <laughs> worst of all, a tailor. <laughs> witches, witches, witches. Still clicking. Oh my god. Carpal tunnel syndrome here. <laughs> Stephen Alfred, Stephen Alfred, oh, Stephen, Stephen, Alfred, Alfred. <laughs> Axel. Okay, we're back in the forest. Wake up. Do, 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 do. Axel, da, 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 da. I can't find my friends. It's another time. Still looking for my friends. It's still very dark here. Axel! <laughs> do, 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 do. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> do, 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 do. He is getting depressed because he can't find his friends or find a way out. And then we suddenly hear something. It is an animal bone. Da, da, da. It's the cat. Oh yeah, so... Maybe we should just leave the cat. Ignore the cat. It's best to continue without waking her. The cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I end up in this place. Don't know what else the cat is capable of, so I decide it's better to leave it behind and continue walking. <laughs> mean animals! 2.37am. <laughs> Still walking. Soon I lost, to, I lost sight of the cat. Once more I find myself in the dark forest. Walking aimlessly, only moving forward. But it doesn't seem I was getting, at so getting somewhere. Oh, okay. Hey, we got the voice again. Come here. Here, you'll be safe. I suddenly stop. It was probably easy to see the disbelief on my face at that moment. It's that voice again. I whisper to myself with no one listening to me. Okay. Okay, can't trust it. Am I going crazy? Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. Hey, something else is happening. Every time I heard the... Heard Every time the voice is heard more clearly, stronger, and more often. She seems to be leading me somewhere. It is a siren! It is the Little Mermaid. Oh, what's happening? Da -da 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 -da. Oh. <laughs> Shortly after, I arrived to a clearing in the forest. Oh, no, another clearing. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> At least I can see the night sky. The full moon shines elegantly, surrounded by a blanket of darkness and stars. A beautiful image, but there's something strange in it. How weird. Isn't there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look at the moon and try to remember a vague memory in my mind. Anyway, it's not important. The moon will not come to save me. It might. Ah, it's the Blair Witch House! <laughs> it's the Blair Witch House! I lower my sight, and then it w and then that- blah, blah, blah. It was then that I noticed there was a cabinet in the clearing. Cabin in the woods, ooh. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby, so I didn't see it before, I think. The cabin looks old and worn down, even depressing, but if I'm lucky, there may be someone in- there may be someone there. Open the door. I'm waiting for you, my knight. Oh god, this is creepy. Suddenly I hear the voice again. It was in this cabin, no doubt. Somehow, her voice sounds different this time. It was an excited- inexplicable kindness, even love. I feel as- as if I were a man returning home to see his wife. After thinking about it for a moment, I can't help but laugh at myself. How silly. I must be really losing my mind. I said as a joke, hiding my anxiety with humor. In any case, there is nothing else for me than to open the door. However, I can't stop thinking that I'm forgetting something. My hand then slowly opens the door of the cabin. Creak. What awaits me there is something that leaves me perplexed. The bodies of the five missing people were hanging as if they were puppets. Wow, this definitely made a turn for the strange. With empty eyes, uh, but all of them were facing me. This is so the Blair Witch here. And between them is a woman with a big smile. I opened my eyes wide with amazement, and my lips got dry. Finally, I remembered what I was forgetting uh, when it was too late. Thank you for saving me by giving me your life said the voice with an incredible love, but announcing my horrible de destiny. It's true. Matthew disappeared in the clearing without any trace. I have no breath to speak. I just know that we can add some someone more to the list. Is that it? Oh, that is it. 
But where's where's Lillian? Okay, okay, okay. So oh. Okay, we go to the beginning. Okay, so I want to find out where this Lillian girl is, cause that's not Lillian. That's obviously someone else. But I'm I'm curious. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna see if we can find Lillian. I think it's we pick up the cat, we don't fight her, and we ignore her. So let's try that. So do stay tuned, cause wow, that was such an ending. <laughs> this is Puzzle Pieces signing off.